Welcome to another video, and guess what we've bought? A caravan. So why did I buy a caravan? Well, it's about the only type of camping that I haven't done so far. I started off in dome tents, done swags, single swags, double swags, touring tents, slide on campers on the back of utes, slept in cars. I've camped in pretty much every way that there is, except in a caravan. Although technically this is a camper according to Emu, the people who made it, but let's face it, it's a caravan. It's a hybrid caravan, one of the Chinese styled hybrid caravans that you can find in many different brands and they all look fairly similar. But why did I choose this particular camper? So one of the reasons why I went with the Emu Expedition over some of the other hybrid campers was the kitchen. Check this out. All over on the side of the road, want a quick coffee? All you've got to do is open her up and there you are, you're ready to go. None of this pulling out a large drawer system, then having to pack everything away every time you want to go to bed or go into the shops or go on day trips. All you have to do, if you finish with the kitchen, simply close it up, lock the latches, and if you're really worried about security, you can get your key out and lock them with a the key as well. So the kitchen comes with all this built-in storage, which is really awesome. Um, you've got enough room for all of your food, and even the coffee machine goes in there. And then you've got these two drawers here that allow you to put your cutlery, whatever it is that you like. There are different variations you can get with the Expedition, but we liked the two drawers. Um, gave us a little bit more room. Also got a three burner cooktop, which is pretty standard in this sort of style of camper, but it is a proper camp cooktop. It's not a domestic cooktop that they've just thrown into a camper. It's actually designed to go in a caravan or a camper. Got your hot and cold running water. We've also got our 240 volt power outlet, uh, two USB ports, cigarette lighter port, which you can use for your TV. You've got the antenna outlet here. If you want to bring the TV outside, you've also got a hook for the TV there and a small table for lightweight stuff. You've got built-in lights that are activated Uh, you've also got two LED lights underneath that are activated by swiping eventually and you've got a light on the door as well. So the second reason why I really liked the Expedition over the other Chinese campers was these rear tyres because these don't fold down. There are no struts, there are no latches, none of this stuff. In fact, this rear wall is a fixed wall. And that's because the bed doesn't come out the back, it comes out the side. So the bedroom actually opens up very similar to the kitchen. Same sort of latches, which are key lockable as well. And you just lift up just the same as you would on the rear of most Chinese hybrid campers and simply fold out the master bed from here. As easy as that and that is why I like this camper I don't have to muck around with the spare tires I can just pop it straight out the side obviously you've got more limitations in some tight caravan parks but we try to avoid those where we can and the great thing about not having these spare tires fold down is we can put these rubbish bags on the back which we can use for dirty clothes or rubbish recycling whatever we want to do the other advantage is we get this additional storage for storing our wood. It's called the wood box and it's exactly what we use it for. 
So other than the kitchen and the bedrooms both coming out the side and that kitchen being a nice hatch style kitchen rather than a pull out kitchen, there were some other reasons why we chose this particular caravan over some of the other hybrids. So this, like a lot of the campers that you can buy, came with a Truma hot water system standard. It came with a heavy duty jockey wheel, as well as a DA35 hitch, which is arguably pretty much the best thing you can get around. It's a genuine cruise master. In fact, pretty much everything on this camper was of a decent brand. It also came with a full annex. We've only got the end wall set up at the moment, but as well as having the annex, it's also got shade sails that come over the edges, little wings, and one that comes off the front if you put the front wall on as well. And you can have it in various configurations, just like we've got here. This is good because a lot of the hybrid caravans have the fridge slide here. We don't use the fridge slide as a fridge slide because we've got one in the car, but it's still where we put all of our pantry items and other miscellaneous storage. And having this end wall on means that you have protection from the weather when you've got that door open. It also comes with a WineGuard TV antenna, and 300 watts of solar panels as standard. The other bonus with the Emu Expedition is that it comes with lithium batteries as well. So you get two 100 amp hour lithium batteries and it comes with projector DC to DC charger and a projector 25 amp mains charger as well. It also comes with Ride Pro shocks instead of cheap Chinese shocks. And that is a big plus because I've pulled shocks off Chinese campers before and they are effectively useless. So it's nice to see that it has a reputable brand of shock absorber. It comes with a 150 litre stainless steel water tank and it also comes with a 120 litre grey water tank and that is one of the big reasons for going for a caravan. We don't have to worry about trying to catch our grey water from inside in the shower or from the kitchen. We don't have to hook any hoses up, it just gets dumped straight into the grey water tank which we can then empty out at our leisure. We can also leave the valve open and just run it straight to ground or out of a waste hose if we're in a caravan park. But I see a lot of campsites now, they're already doing it over east, are going to start becoming self-sufficient only, meaning you can't use your outside shower. And that's a really big reason why we went with a caravan because we have an inside shower. But to show you a little bit more of inside, I'm going to get Mella to walk you through why she likes it because she's a big fan of the inside. So to show you inside, I'm going to get Mella to walk you through it because that's her favorite part of the caravan. Let's go. <laughs> Hi guys. So I just want to show you what's inside a caravan. So this is our beautiful bed, which is a queen size bed. Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> it's a queen size bed and um, we also have uh, all our cabinets here where we can put our clothes. Um, this one, I actually choose to put the basket for like laundry basket for dirty clothes. So it's not scattered around the bed. And this one is for our extra stuff, blankets, clothes, and shoes, and everything. Um, so this cabinet is just um, our clothes for like daily use. We have extra cabinets here where we can put more clothes in. And also this one, we use this to put our stuff for like... What do you call that one? It's kind of like a first aid kit. First aid kit. Um, draw. And bathroom stuff. And this one, we were, we put our remote and electrical stuff in here. And I don't know what is in here, but yeah. This is a miscellaneous caravan -y type stuff. Yeah, so we use this one in, for our toilet. Sunny sand. Bit of masking tape to put over the vent on the door, um, just to stop dust coming in. Random charger cables and that sort of stuff. Yeah. Up here we've got the um, we've got our Telstra modem, or we use it with Optus and Telstra. We've got a SIM for each, and we've got an external antenna. But I'll go into the modifications that we've done to this in another video, and that's the handle for the wine guard antenna. And, and we have aircon here, <laughs> so dramatic. we can use this during summer, or we can use the heater during winter as well. But the good thing is. Jeff installed a diesel heater for our caravan, so that's really good. 
and it saves us more well, electricity yes. or more power. Yeah. Because it's just, just use a diesel. So it's really cool and it's really warm. It's really cool and it's really warm. It's really cool. <laughs> it's a cool stuff, but it's really warm inside. And we also have, I just want to show you, we have, what do you call this one? The inverter. We have the inverter as well. So Jeff is always using this when he makes um, coffee every morning. And at the same time, we have a charger cable here for Jeff's side. And I have one in my side. And this one is for the hot water, hot system. water system. So it's pretty, really good. It's really good. Um, How do you do this? Just lift it. This one? Yeah, and then lift the, just lift the wood. So this one is, we have stuff there. We have the tables that we can put inside the caravan. Oops, sorry. If it's going to rain. So we can eat inside. And also, we have this extra bunk bed. So this one is only for... 45 kilos one of my favorite thing here in the caravan is our tv so we we actually decided to put chromecast as well so this is the chromecast connect it to here and uh, yeah so that way we can watch netflix and other stuff so netflix pay us joke <laughs> you can get that one <laughs> and also what's the last thing do we have well, we've got things? storage down here. So we have storage down here, and we put some of our stuff, like you know, like you can put like shoes, and we have we put our sunblock something. All right, so this one, guys, is our electric roof, where where we can control the roof to put it down and to put it up. And yeah, so, so there's no no handles in here and the roof just goes up and down with the button down there and what's really good about that is Meller is very small um, so she has trouble reaching the roof in other hybrid caravans but also because we opted to remove the Chinese air conditioner that was under the seats here and put a diesel heater in instead we've gone for a Dometic reverse cycle aircon in the roof and that does make the roof quite a bit heavier so it's nice that we don't have to worry about any of that it's all electric yeah and also guys i want to show you this this is pretty cool as well because um this window here so of course you can close you can you can close you can open this one during summer if there's any like if there's a lot of flies or anything like that so you can just close this one but if it's winter this one is really cool because it's blocked the cold from outside so it's awesome and last but not the least i want to show you my favorite part in the world is the toilet and the shower so this is our toilet here so i don't want to open that one of course so that's the light and the fan as well so it's pretty easy to use we have a shower and this one is um jeff put this one you did yeah 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 so this is jeff um put this one to put our stuff like toothbrush toothpaste shampoo deodorant and got a night light here stuff. as well so that if you just want to go to the toilet without waking everyone up you can use the night light yeah and you've got your exhaust fan up there and the Thetford toilet is electric flush so it just flushes from the um, water tank or from mains water if you're plugged into a caravan it doesn't have a separate flushing tank it's just your cassette style toilet and this one because jeff is so tall so jeff is actually putting the shower head in here <laughs> and yeah so that's really good stuff that's my favorite part in the world because i'm so scared to go outside in the middle of the night so <laughs> i love this i love this so much now obviously having a caravan comes with a whole bunch of other pros and cons we got this because we love camping in the winter. And I found over the years that canvas is extremely good, extremely reliable, but it's not infallible. And when the weather really turns bad, no matter how good your canvas is, it can only take so much. And once it becomes completely saturated over a number of days and heavy winds, it does start to leak. But it's also 
something that can wear out. When it gets really windy with canvas, you're always worried that it's gonna get damaged and it's really expensive to fix if it does. At least with this setup, we can camp in any weather and we can just close the door, turn on the TV and just chill out inside if it really turns to crap. As far as summer camping goes, it's nice that we've got the air con there if we do need it for that style of camping. And again, if the flies get really bad, if it gets really horrible, you can just retreat inside. But we go camping to be outside and that's why we've elected for this camper because we've got the outside kitchen. It's that hybrid style setup where you're mainly living outside, but you've got a really nice comfy bed inside when you want to go to bed. It also allows us to do long trips and just pull over on the side of the road and essentially open the door and go to sleep when we want to. We're completely self-contained. We can utilize all of those free campsites that require self-contained vehicles to camp there. And we don't have to worry about leaving any trace behind. Of course, the downsides are we're limited to 100 kilometers an hour when we're towing in Western Australia. We're using a lot more fuel. It is heavy. It's uh, loaded with like 2.7 tonne on the caravan itself. So it is certainly not light. And of course, the big one for summer is we can't tow the jet ski while we're towing the caravan, which was one of the great things about having the slide on. And we're also limited with exploration somewhat, because if you go down a track and you can't turn around, you're really in a lot of trouble if you've got a caravan on the back. So there are some definite downsides, but for the long distance style of touring and the winter touring, this thing is absolutely brilliant. What I'm gonna do in another video, because if anyone knows me, I can't leave anything standard. I have been modifying this thing to the hilt and you've already seen a couple of little modifications um, when you were walking around and inside, but I'll do another video soon specifically on what we've modified and how we've done it and why we've done it. So if you've got a hybrid caravan or specifically an emu expedition, it might be really interesting to see how we've personalized this to better suit our needs. Anyway, just a short video to uh, let you know that we bought this thing and we're out here using it. Thanks very much, guys. If you really like this video, please subscribe, like, comment below. It all helps us out. Thanks very much. See you next time. I got all this wood from the bush. <laughs> what do you mean by that? It's your fire too, isn't it? Yes. I love fire. And I won. <laughs> I got a lot more wood than you. You're a loser. Hey! <laughs> You're a loser.